Five key takeaways from Biden and Xi's first meeting as leaders. Despite Biden's cold, she extended a handshake. Despite the US president suffering a little cold, the usually paranoid Chinese leader still shook Biden's hand. The two leaders made eye contact and smiled for the cameras, demonstrating the desire for a better working relationship. In a subtly critical statement, she claimed that international expectations as well as the basic interests of the two countries were not met by bilateral relations. He asserted that the two countries' leaders should, rather, plan the right direction, elevate the relationship, and act as a ship's rudder. Biden criticized China's Taiwan policy for being aggressive. Despite the smiles, the US president, according to a readout from the White House, raised a number of divisive topics during the three-hour conversation. The most contentious issue he brought up was US opposition to China's coercive and increasingly aggressive actions towards Taiwan, which he claimed threatened global prosperity and undermined the peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. The Taiwan issue, according to Xi, is the first red line in bilateral relations and is at the very core of China's core interests. China has accused the US of starting the conflict. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said last week, the root cause of the tensions in the Taiwan Strait is that the Taiwan authorities have been soliciting US support to seek Taiwan independence. Biden adhered to Washington's well-established position on Taiwan. After the Chinese foreign ministry last week warned the US to stop fudging, distorting and hollowing out the One China principle, and implied that the US was trying to contain China using the Taiwan issue as a pretext, Biden reassured China that the US commitment to the One China policy had not changed. Cooperation on climate change could return in some way. The leaders pledged to empower important senior officials in areas where they may work together, such as combating the climate problem and preserving the stability of the world's economy, food supply, and health. It was not immediately apparent, though, if that meant China would consent to resume climate change negotiations that had been put on hold as a result of a contentious visit by Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the U.S. House, to Taiwan in August. Beijing and Washington are frightened about Moscow's nuclear threats. In addition, the leaders underlined their opposition to the use or threat of use of nuclear weapons in Ukraine, according to the U.S. statement, and they agreed that a nuclear war should never be fought and cannot be won. The remarks follow Vladimir Putin's warning of nuclear reprisal, which marked a significant escalation of the Ukraine war.